I was part of many uh, different guidelines by different societies and we were concerned about uh, the ablation of bilateral knowledge, meaning knowledge on both sides because you don't want to put both nerves uh, that goes to the voice box at risk. If there is one side is injured or uh, even if it's temporary, it can cause hoarseness, difficulty swallowing, difficulty breathing. But if you have two that get injured, this is really like a huge medical emergency or surgical emergency actually when the patient might need a tracheostomy for this. But now we, we actually publish data on ablation of bilateral nodules. And you need to think about this. The experience is required here because you don't want to also bear nodules that are both sitting close to the nerves. Um, but you can actually burn knowledge away from the nerves or there's one close to the nerve and the other one is a mile away from the nerve, that should not be a problem. So to just say that bilateral knowledge is a contraindication to do it, uh, it's not there anymore. You can actually do it. And it's fascinating that in the past, many of my colleagues used to refuse to do these cases and now everybody's adopting and changing their practice and accepting it in certain cases. And you need to be careful, we still need to be careful. The goal here is, uh, is to make sure that we offer safe procedures and uh, safe interventions to our patients. Regarding bilateral nodules, one should be also extremely careful when uh, treat these nodules. For example, if you are treating a small cancer on one side and another nodule that's benign on the other side, you don't want to see the cancer cells into the benign one or mostly benign one. So I will counsel patient about, for example, the utilization of two different probes, but we can do everything in one session. So in these cases, because we don't have data on this, but definitely it's not a good idea to just use a probe in a cancerous nodule and go to another nodule that may be not cancerous and try to ablate. That, that can be an issue. So one should be really careful and use a very um, a good clinical sense to make these decisions. Yeah. So, when so the onus on us as providers to make sure that we offer it safely and efficiently and make sure that we choose the right patients for that. And you can use one probe in these cases. If both are proven to be benign, you can use one probe. But the scenario that I mentioned, for example, a patient will have a small cancer on one side and another nodule that's been proven to be benign. I don't want to burn both at the same time with the same probe. First, we want to start with the cancer one because this is our focus. We want to make sure everything is good before we go to the benign one. And, um, and we need to burn the nodule very well, uh, make sure we burn a good rim around it. And then if everything is good, then we can proceed to the other side. So in these cases, we don't want to use the same probe because you don't want to see cancer cells in there. So um, there is no size limitation to any nodules for an ablation at this point. Having said that, uh, if I have really two large size nodules, uh, and they, it depends on the location again. If they close to the dangerous triangle where the nerve enters to the cricothermic membrane, basically the nodule is close to the nerve and the provider should be aware of the nerve trajectory from the ultrasound, uh, then in these cases I will do like kind of a staging approach. Uh, what does that mean? So I will burn, I will say we'll focus on one nodule first, do like a full complete ablation and then the second nodule I will do a partial making sure I will leave a rim out of that nodule close to the nerve because I don't want to put this patient at I would like to continue zero risk of nerve problems and then the second session we will flip-flop we will do the other nodules a hundred percent and then burn the other one um, with a separate with, with keeping a very safe area around the nerve territory. But again, these is in cases when the nodules are huge and they're both close to the nerve. So this is when we do the staging. With two treatment, you get the best outcome. Instead of doing one and then one, no, we do both, but save, stay away from the dangerous area and then do it again and flip. So this way you get the best outcome with the treatment.